The RAN Intelligent Controller, or RIC, is without doubt one of the hottest focal points of R&D innovation in the open RAN sector. But where are we with RIC tests, trials and use cases? Well, to find out, I'm talking today with Constantine Polychronopoulos, Group Vice President of 5G and Telco Cloud at Juniper Networks. Constantine, great to see you again. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, so does the RAN Intelligent Controller, the RIC, represent a nice to have or a must have capability in 5G networks and beyond? And what kind of fundamental change can it bring to the networks? Absolutely a must have. There's no question in my mind. Um, and the reason is because uh, it's the first time since uh, the introduction of wireless technologies in the, you know, in the 70s and 80s commercialization, of course, didn't happen until the, the late 90s. It's the first time that we are opening up the capabilities of the network to applications in a consistent way, right? Um, I like to use the analogy of operating systems. I call the radio intelligent controller the operating system of the radio access network. Uh, and if you look at the history of wireless technologies, um, we have not really changed the way we are building networks. The radio intelligent controller offers for the first opportunity uh, the opportunity to really uh, abstract the peculiarities and idiosyncrasies of the radio access network vendor and uh, expose northbound a consistent, a consistent set of uh, APIs that enables us to, to really build applications that harness um, the power of the network, right? Address automation, uh, harness efficiencies in the network, and most importantly, open up the opportunity for new business models, for uh, revenue generating opportunities for the operator. So, you know, and I, you know, in this uh, analogy, think about the early days of computing when applications were custom built for each hardware vendor. And then Linux came along and Microsoft Windows came along and we forgot about the complexities of the hardware. We didn't have to worry about device drivers. We didn't have to worry about the way the scheduler or the memory management system works, right? Uh, and we were able to build applications that seamlessly move or, you know, uh, can, can, can run on different uh, hardware platforms. So the RIC is the equivalent of the operating system for hardware, you know, servers and laptops, etc. It's extremely important. And I don't believe we can go up against the evolution of technology. So we're very excited about what comes next. Okay, well, I mean, that sounds like a, a very important development, not only for the network operators, but for uh, developers as well. Uh, now, Juniper has been engaged uh, with RIC trials uh, with service providers during the past 18 months. And what kind of use cases have been trialed and what are the key learnings and takeaways from these trials? Uh, we have been engaged with um, more than half a dozen tier one operators. We did announce um, a successful uh, field deployment, field trial of our RIC at Vodafone uh, with partners, uh, Parallel Wireless in that case. And uh, what we tried there was uh, traffic steering and admission control. We ran for about two, two and a half months without a glitch, uh, even when the radio uh, components, the DQ and the CU were being upgraded. The RIC ran without interruption uh, we have the ability to sense when the DU, for example, is disconnected, uh, going to a, um, a holding pattern, if you wish, and then uh, re-engage when the DU uh, is uh, reachable again. And uh, we demonstrated the ability to address uh, use cases or users who are between cells at the uh, you know boundary of uh, cell uh, between different cells. And by using traffic steering, we're able to manage uh, the user experience in a much better way. And uh, we did announce that Vodafone actually did their own measurements and it was a smashing success. As far as I know, this was the first uh, field deployment of a real rig of a product um, in the market. Uh, we have been in uh, trials uh, with partners at uh, uh, various other European tier one operators um, in North America as well. 
and um, they all are looking great. I mean, the customers are, you know, love what they see, the ability to uh, to address optimization in a very compelling way. Uh, but most importantly, again, they start um, thinking about how they can harness the power of uh, managing in real time uh, key capabilities of the radio to open up new opportunities for revenue generation. Um, so that's exciting. Okay, absolutely. Really interesting developments there. And I'm sure we'll hear more about those trials and use cases in the months ahead. Uh, now, how is Juniper working with the broader ecosystem to realize the potential of Open RAN? And how should industry collaborate to accelerate Open RAN progress? We are working very closely um, at Oran. We believe that Oran must be successful. It represents, you know, Oran and 3GPP have been leading uh, the standard definitions, right? So working with SDOs is extremely important. That's why we have a leadership position at uh, Oran. Uh, we are the editor and we chair the network slicing task group. We have participation in all the other working groups and actually active participation. Uh, we have contributed. We are one of the biggest contributors of use cases um, and, and specs to Oran. But uh, that's not the only one. Um, uh, we have been working with several partners, over 25, 25 different partners, including application developers, uh, traditional, traditional RAN vendors, the newcomers, the likes of Parallel Wireless and Mavenir, et cetera, uh, and um, uh, system integrators as well. Uh, we all have to come together in an ecosystem that will uh, take out the complexity, the friction of deploying um, Oran architectures, right? And address and really showcase um, the ability to, um, to uh, enable or to port new applications very quickly to the network. Um, in that regard, we have been successful at uh, field trials, at lab trials with partners at over, uh, you know, eight different tier one operators. Uh, we continue engaging with customers to demonstrate the value of, uh, uh, of Oran architectures and in particular of the RIC and applications. So I'm very excited about what's coming uh, in the next uh, six to 12 months because we're going to see really uh, the ability to do things that were impossible to do before, like addressing energy efficiency in a very compelling way, uh, addressing uh, MIME optimization in a very compelling way with the new technologies on the on the RU side. So great things are coming uh, in the next six to, tw to 12 months. Okay, well, that's a very positive message uh, to take to the sector. And we look forward to hearing more developments from the broader ecosystem and from Juniper in the very near future. So Constantine, thanks very much for joining us today. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Thank you, Ray.